keep only 10 Zerzhov fragrances for life, toss the rest. I looked at all of the Zerzhov fragrances that I have in my collection and I have a few dozen and these are the 10 that I think I would hang on to if I had to get rid of everything else. Of course, we have some Casa Morati fragrances in here because they do fall under the Zerzhov umbrella. I'm excited to share this list with you, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I tell you about these 10 Zerzhov fragrances that I would keep in my collection if I were limited to keeping only 10, I'm gonna tell you what I love about them. I'll try to get into performance, longevity, and all that good stuff. But before I start the video, I wanna mention that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and also please give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So the first one that I would hang on to, and I love this stuff, is Lira. Now Lira has bergamot, blood orange, lavender, rose, jasmine, cinnamon, licorice blossom, vanilla musks, and caramel. For me, it is this vanilla blood orange fragrance. It's orangey, it's sweet, it has this velvety dry down, it's gourmand, it's absolutely delicious and to die for. Lira is a spectacular gourmand fragrance that also conveys a nice bit of class with it as well. Now, of course, if we're talking about gourmands, we also have to talk about Symphonium. This is a beautiful orange and chocolate fragrance. If you're looking for chocolate fragrances from the House of Zerzhov, Symphonium takes the cake, pun intended. It's a beautiful fragrance. Please, please, please try it, especially if you're looking for richness, if you're looking for quality, if you're looking for longevity. Casa Morati, Zerzhov, Kemi Blending Magic, all of these you know, brands that fall under the Zerzhov umbrella, they all do spectacularly well as far as longevity is concerned. Alexandria 2. This is bright, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's complex. Of course, this has cinnamon, apple, rosewood, lavender. In the heart, you have cedar, lily of the valley, Bulgarian rose. And then in the dry down, you have a combination of different oud ingredients. Alexandria 2 is amazing. I know there are many different flankers. There's Alexandria 3, Alexandria Orientale. There's so many different flankers. I love Alexandria 2. Please try it if you haven't done so, especially if you're looking for something woodsy, spiciness, complexity. It has all that good stuff. Uden Overdose. This is a beautiful tobacco fragrance, but tobacco that is smooth. It is very easy to wear, it is professional, you can wear it to the office. And of course, the original Oudin has these attributes as well, but of course, there are a lot of tobacco fragrances on the market that go in that moist cherry pipe tobacco direction, like Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. This one is very smooth, airy, clean, professional, sophisticated, I love it for that reason. Look, Herba Pura is super popular. It's fruity, the passion fruit, uh, whatever other tropical fruit notes are in there. It's a little floral. It has that sweetness in the dry down and it has been cloned so many times, right? You got to go with the original. The original has the strength of the body. It has the quality, the complexity. It's absolutely amazing. And it could have very easily been the number one or two on anybody else's list. But of course, this is a very personal list. These are fragrances that cater to my personal tastes. Now I do love their sweet offerings. Iomi Monkey Special is amazing. So this one is caramel and patchouli and woods. And it does remind me a little bit of Angel for Men by Thierry Mugler. And this was a collaboration with Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath. It is a beautiful fragrance. Of course, we can't forget Naxos. I know I would be crucified if I didn't mention Naxos on this list. It is a beautiful tobacco fragrance. It smells a little bit like Pure Havan by Thierry Mugler, but this one is a gorgeous, sweet, vanilla, honey, rich tobacco type of a fragrance that I love wearing in the colder weather. But, you know, of course, if you're wearing it in a climate controlled environment, you can wear it all year round. We're getting down to the top three. I have to talk about the versatility of this one, Mephisto Gentiluomo from the Casa Morati line. Of course, this fragrance, it's bright, it's citrusy, it has some clean white floral ingredients in the heart. You have the original Mephisto, which reminds me a little bit of Silver Mountain Water by Creed. This one is so unique. It goes in its own direction. I'm actually not wearing anything today, so I might make that my scent of the day now that I'm looking at it and thinking about it. I'm like, you know, such an amazingly versatile fragrance. 
super clean, very classy CEO type of a fragrance. And I really admire that for that reason. The fragrance in the number two spot, well, there's a lot of sentimentality here and nostalgia. I initially discovered Neo back in 2012. So I've known about this fragrance for 14, uh, 12 years now, excuse me. I'm not that great of a mathematician, but I know how to count backwards. Neo is amazing. It is cardamom and bergamot. It is the most natural expression of the note of bergamot that I've ever smelled. So bright, refreshing, zesty, it is incredible. And of course, it reminds me of the time when I initially discovered Zerzhov and how I fell in love with this Italian luxury brand. And, you know, if somebody said I have to get rid of all of my Zerzhov fragrances, these are the 10 that I have to keep. Of course, it would be these nine plus the one that I'm about to reveal. And I do apologize for not mentioning Dajala. I apologize for not mentioning Apollonia. I apologize for not mentioning more than words or Mamluk or some of the other Alexandrias or the original Mephisto. I know there are a lot of Zerzhov fragrances that I can't include in the list because I have to limit it to just 10. But the number one, absolutely love this stuff. It's sweet, it's gourmand, you have the coffee, you have the caramel, you have all of these rich ingredients. And of course, I pick up on a lot of stuff that are not listed in the note breakdown and a perfumer will never disclose every single ingredient that goes into the composition of a fragrance. But this stuff, it's one of the best gourmand fragrances ever. If you're looking for something that smells sweet, high quality raw materials, high quality ingredients, master craftsmanship, you need Italica by Casa Morati. Every time I wear it, I get stopped. I get asked questions. What are you wearing? I've had people ask me to make samples for them and I've been generous enough to do so because I saw the light in their eyes and they got so excited when they smelled it and Italica is just to die for. Beautiful gourmand alongside Symphonium and Lita and uh, Tony Iommi Monkey Special. In any case, Thank you for watching. Keep only 10 Zerzhov slash Casa Morati fragrances for life. What are your 10? Or if you don't want to list 10, what are your three? What is your number one, right? Just drop your comment down below. I love the interaction. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm as well. Thank you again for watching. I love you all. And we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.